Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There are so many news now coming out related to LCA Mark II program which could either confuse you on its development and progress. So in this video we will be discussing in detail about what could be the possible timeline for LCA Mark II and the blockers and challenges that this program is facing. The LC Mark II, as we all know, has completed its preliminary design studies in 2014 itself and was in detailed design phase in 2015. The redesigned fighter was first displayed at Aero India show in 2019. The metal cutting for Mark II started in February 2021. The Mark II project has been given green light by Cabinet Committee on Security on 1st September 2022. The CCS has approved Rs 6,500 crore to design and build prototypes, test flights and certification for TS Mark II fighter jet. The first prototype of the aircraft is reported to be rolled out by 2024. During Aero India 2023, the DRDO chief had said that GE and DRDO has agreed for F414 GE INS6 engines for TS Mark II. Now, India is waiting for US government's clearance to start the co-production. The matter was even discussed during NSA Ajit Doval's US visit in February 2023. The US government had said that it was open to indigenous manufacture of engines. The DRDO chief was hopeful that in next three to six months, an announcement for the transfer of technology will happen and these engines would be made in India. Now, India has planned 100 GF414 engines, some of which will be imported directly and rest will be manufactured in India. With G expected to announce tie-up with DRDO in a couple of months, the indigenously produced LCA Mark II should be ready for induction by 2028. Now, interestingly, a report has been published by James recently in which they are saying that the India's light combat aircraft LCTS Mark II program is languishing without funding months after the pilot was approved by New Delhi. As per James' report, Indian government has included a clause in the funding approval stipulating that this money would be released only after US government approved a 100% transfer of engine technology to India. However, this does not make sense because all engines will not be made in India. The prototype development can happen on engines which will be directly imported from US. If Ministry of Defense has to release fund only after the transfer of technology of engine is cleared by US government, then what's the point of sanctioning the fund in September 2022? The discussion on TOT for engine manufacture in India will take its own time, but that should not be a blocker for importing engines required for the prototype development. Now, if we consider the James report to be true, then the clause added by Ministry of Defense for release of fund is unrealistic. Why should funding required for prototype development be put on hold for the sake of engine TOT? What if US delays the TOT process? Is there any option to change engine? Which is absolutely not. At this point of time, India cannot go back to drawing board and redesign a new aircraft based on new engine. Then the obvious question is, what was MOD official thinking before inserting such a stupid clause? And the next question will be, will that affect the funding for upcoming EMC program as well? Well, these are some of the questions which can be answered only by Ministry of Defense. However, the engine TOT, which is the main reason of worry, is expected to be finalized soon. Ro Khanna, the US lawmaker, has said that US wants to make sure that the deal to supply G engines to India for making fighter jets is done so that Delhi does not lose out to Europe. He also said that India wants jet engines and the first thing is to make sure that deal gets done, hopefully before the PM Narendra Modi visit and we are working on that. Now the reports which are coming for PM Narendra Modi visit states that it is going to be a historic one. PM Narendra Modi will be traveling to US for an official visit from June 21st to 24th for the first time 
in nine years. He will be hosted by U.S. President Joe Biden at the White House. The deal for transfer of technology of GF414 engine is expected to be finalized during or before his visit. Till then, let's not get carried away with any such news related to LC Mark II development. We are keeping close watch on LC Mark II and AMC program development and we'll let you know if there is any update from the credible sources. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.